Here's the four striped bass fingerlings after the horrible acclimation from yesterday. This is the next morning. We all are doing okay, which I'm extremely, extremely pleased to, to see because I thought I was, oh, I almost killed them or killed them. They're doing well, very alert, very lively. They school together as they should. They are very much aware of me. They haven't been fed in six days, five days prior to the shipping by the vendor and one day in shipping. Actually, now it's probably closer to a week since they have been fed. So they must be hungry, that's why their tummies are not bulging at all. So we're gonna try and give them something. The, the vendor was feeding them uh, tilapia chunks. They've been uh, weaned off of bloodworms not, not too long ago. Once again, these were raised in Mexico in uh, full marine water in a farm. And then the vendor kept them in full fresh and in brackish and in full marine. And the latest was uh, light brackish. That's the water they came from to us. And he was, he weaned them off uh, of the bloodworms onto tilapia. So I can give them fish and I will give them fish, but uh, for their health and for their uh, good prospects, I would like to give them some pellets and see if they take them. So we're gonna start first with cichlid gold, hickory, floating. Let's see what happens. Do the little guys take them or not? And also, I was gonna give them a, a, a little bit of NLS pellets as well. These are sinking. To see which ones they pick, if any at all. They may not pick any. As I said, they're accustomed to tilapia chunks or any cut fish, I guess. I can see a little bit of damage on the feelage on their tails. So that's from shipping and from jumping. They were jumping in the bags as I was driving them from the airport home. They were jumping. They're very high energy, high strong. They were trying to jump out of the acclimation bucket too. Come on guys, do you smell anything? The food is in the water. There could be two reasons, they, they don't want pellets, they don't recognize them as food. Well, they're not hungry yet, they're still stressed from the shipping and from the new water. As I said, they came from light brackish. Like 3000 ppm, total dissolved solids. And here we have uh, about 250 ppm or 300 ppm. Two to 300 ppm, I want to say. Full fresh. Cut up a little bit of mullet. We're gonna try and give it to them.
just uh, for it for now. You're smelling something, guys? Yeah, they're becoming agitated. Maybe not. Yeah, they're smelling something, I think. Something that they recognize and they want. It's right there. Come on, come on baby. Right there. There you go. There you go. Good job, baby. Good job. That's the one with the damaged eye took the first piece. Okay, there is some appetite. Another one showed interest, but didn't have enough courage to strike the a piece of mullet. Come on, come on, sweetie. Three more pieces laying there, and a few little ones. That was that were spot out in the middle, or spit out. Yeah, that's right. Go for it. Go for it. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Good job. Good job. That's a different one that got a nice piece. Excellent. It's not there, go ahead, go ahead. This is rolling in the middle. Afraid to strike it. Oh, this, this guy took a little bite. So this is a couple hours later. A pieces, some pieces of the mullet are still laying around. So they're not really hot on it. So I decided to see if they will take some of the mackerel better. Oh, little guy, 
Seems there is a little bit more interest. Not day and night difference, but there is some. There we go. Again, the one with the damaged eye seems to be the most outgoing. Yeah, they're taking some pieces. All right. All in all, I'm pleased. There is some appetite, and they're taking it a little bit, given that I almost killed them yesterday. This is a huge, huge deal. That they're able to show some appetite, even if it's quite reserved. Macro probably has a different, stronger smell, it's oily and it seems to be attracting their attention better than mullet. eating well and get the strength to fight the disease. Look at that fluke that the vendor told me about. 